In this video, I'm gonna cover the basics of shooting technique. I'm gonna show you our favorite shooting drill here at No Limits, which is one, two, off, through, which covers all the main teaching points of the shooting technique in one very effective and very efficient drill. For this drill, we're gonna start off in what we call our one position, which is when I got the ball here at my waist. I've got my chin up and my chest up at the rim. I've got my hips dropped down low, so bending my knees. And my shooting hand, for me, that's my left hand. That's the hand I shoot with. I've got that behind the ball and I've got my wrist a little bit loaded. So this will be an unloaded wrist. This will be a slightly loaded wrist. Now we don't need to bend it back so far that it's uncomfortable, but we do want to have a little bit of a bend in it and we're not completely flat like this. So loaded wrist, hips dropped, chin up and chest up. That's our one position right there. The next part of the drill is we're going to push the ball up to what we call the two position. The two position is essentially where we're actually going to push the ball from as we shoot it. So here's my one position, and now I'm gonna push the ball to the two position, but the only thing that's gonna move here is gonna be the ball. My hips are gonna stay dropped. I'm gonna lift the ball up to the two position. And at this point here, it should feel as though my shooting hand is taking all the weight of the basketball. So when I get to the two position, my shooting hand is underneath. My guide hand is somewhere between the side and the top usually better off to have it too far to the top than too far to the bottom. So our guide hand is on the side to the top. And when we get to this two position here, we can actually take that hand off and the ball should still just sit there in our shooting hand. For younger players, this might be a little bit lower below their eye line and that's fine, but we still should have the shooting hand underneath when we get to that two position. Now, part of this drill, one, two, off, through, is that we are actually gonna do what I just did there and that's take the guide hand off the ball when we get to the two position. So I'm gonna go one, two. I'm gonna take my guide hand off the ball like I just showed. So my shooting hand is underneath and my guide hand is gonna be off the ball, but still just right next to it here like this. From this position, we're now gonna go into our through position. And our through position is where we're gonna be after we shoot the ball. So if I show you guys facing the camera here, here's one, here's two, guide hand goes off. And then when we go through, we're just gonna push with the shooting hand. We're gonna keep the guide hand here. And then we're gonna finish looking something like this where our shooting hand flicks forward, fingers go down into the ring, and the guide hand just stays here right next to the shooting hand, doesn't drop away, but doesn't push forward because we're not shooting the ball with two hands. We're lifting with two hands, and then we're pushing through the ball with just our shooting hand. And that's what our through position should look like at the end. So for the drill, one, two, guide hand off, and then we go through and then we hold at the end to make sure we've got that through position exactly how we want it to be. Because the purpose of this drill is to learn or potentially to relearn certain parts of that shooting technique. So it's a little bit robotic. We're not trying to be doing this particularly fast. It's more about the attention to detail and getting the positions right. And then later on down the track, we can look to speed that up and smooth it out a little bit. But we're gonna be a little bit robotic here where we pause in the one position, we lift to two, we take the guide hand off, we're just chilling right here, getting comfortable in this position. If players aren't used to it, it might be a little bit uncomfortable on the arm. And then we're going through from there, holding at the end before going to get the ball and doing the same thing with the same attention to detail over and over again. Now, the reason this is such a great drill is because it takes a drill we already thought was great, and that's one-handed shooting, where we just lift the ball up with one hand and we're working on our release, one of the best things players can do for their shot. We're taking that drill, but then we're also getting the repetition of the one position, learning to lift the ball with two hands up to our two position. And then from there, now we're taking the guide hand off and we're still getting that rep of a one-handed shot, but we're also getting the practice of lifting the ball with two hands and making it a little bit more game-like. So we get the best of both worlds with this drill. So if you're looking for a drill that covers all of the important aspects of shooting technique and gets you those repetitions in a really efficient way, I highly recommend using the one, two, off, through drill. Even if you're already a pretty good shooter with good technique, it's a really good idea to always just come back to those good habits. And so doing this drill just for a couple of minutes at the start of each workout will make sure that you never slip into any bad habits and you're just constantly over time getting even a little bit better at each of those positions and at the shooting technique that we're trying to work on.